The final section of the intercoastal waterway from Little River to Socastee Creek was completed at the height of the Great Depression. This bridge was built to span the waterway the same year a little boy was born, not more than a mile from here. That boy, this bridge, and the waterway would have a lifetime relationship. I, I worked with Captain Pooh for a few years on, uh, on, a, on he was the captain, of, is the captain of the boat called the Dream, which is right there, uh, here at Harbor Gate Marina. We went all up and down the east coast over the Bahamas, west coast of Florida. We spent a lot of time together. Um, we went down the inter intercoastal waterway multiple times, passing through all these swing bridges and uh, getting to know Pooh really well. I, I learned his history about going up and down the waterway for, you know, decades. And, uh, and I always thought it would be kind of cool. You know, as you, as you go down the intercoastal waterway, you, you notice that there's names of all these bridges. Most of the bridges, some don't have names. And I always thought it'd be a cool idea to name the, the bridge after Pooh. This being his home, uh, the bridge being built the same year he was born. Um, so I, I thought that would be a really cool thing. But this past January, it was freezing cold. We had those days of uh, eight degrees, 20 degrees, multiple days sitting inside, playing around on Facebook. Uh, Greg uh, Duckworth put a picture of the bridge up, um, a nice sunny, pleasant day and I'm like man I wish I wish it was that day because it's really beautiful and I posted on on the Facebook picture that Greg put up there we should name that bridge the Captain Pooh uh, McLaughlin Swing Bridge I thought that'd be a great idea and didn't really think a whole lot about it I had in the past but I just threw it out there and then I started getting all these comments and then I'd start getting these inbox messages hey you should uh, start a group and uh, see if we can get this thing going I was like it was real cold that day, so I started a Facebook group. And uh, within about three and a half days, we had about 3,000 people that thought it was a good idea. You know, when Patrick Kelly reached out to me about renaming the bridge for Captain Pooh, I thought that was a great idea. Captain Pooh has done so much for the boating community in Little River, and he's brought great pride to the fishing and boating community of Little River, and this was a very just endeavor. I reached out to my delegation members and also Senator Hembury, and uh, in short order, we were able to pass that concurrent resolution to rename the, the swing bridge, the Captain Pooh Swing Bridge, and I was glad to be a part of that. Yeah, Greg helped out tremendously with this swing bridge. We got it done quickly. Um, but also working on, he's, help, he's been really helpful on working on these artificial ray, reefs. And as a fisherman, I tell you what, we got some great fishing spots right off the Myrtle Beach coast. And uh, if it wasn't for our local leaders, we, we might not have them.